Hi, my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own international women's painting. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so, so much for stopping back by to paint with me today. So today we're gonna to be creating our very own international women's paintings. So as most of you may know, March is Women's History Month, and today is actually International Women's Day. So we are celebrating women, women, and more women. Um, but before we get started, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. So before we get started, I am going to go over all of the supplies that you need for this tutorial and it will also be linked down below. Um, a few things I'm going to be working with today, as always, I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas, but you can use the canvas size of your choice. It's completely up to you. You want to make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes and some paper towel to dry them off on. You want to grab yourself a cup with cool water. And then I am working with acrylic paint. I am using the colors Burnt Sienna, Bright Yellow, Mars Black, Titanium White, Bright Red, and Phthalo Blue. And we are going to be doing a bit of drawing today. So you do want to make sure that you have a pencil or a Sharpie. And I always make sure to use the Fine Point Sharpie marker. So let's go ahead and get started. So, of course, because this is an international women's painting, we have to paint women, duh. Um, but we're going to be painting a few different women, different colors, um, different nationalities, different backgrounds, all of those things because it is International Women's Day. So I am going to start off um, again with just my marker or your pencil. If you have a pencil, I do suggest starting with that. That way you can erase any mistakes you make. And the first thing I want to do, I'm going to be kind of overlapping these women together. So I want to start with one woman right in the middle. And I'm just doing almost like an oval shape for her head. And from there, I want to kind of come beneath down here and I want to draw a line for her neck. And then I'm going to curve it out a bit. I'm going to come towards the back and I'm going to curve it out a bit again. Now I am even going to go in and give her a little ear there just to the side because I want it to seem like her face is kind of turned. And I'm going to also come down here where I did this back line. So you see now that this is her neck and where it starts to go to her shoulder, I'm going to come in and create a bit of a shoulder line. Now, as far as her hair, I'm not going to do anything else just yet because keep in mind, we are adding other women around her. So I'm not going to do anything else just yet. So the next one that I'm going to do, I want this oval to be shaped to the side a bit. So you see how it's just not up and down. It's more off to the side. And I am going to give her a little ear right here and I'm going to come from the side and go down and I'm going to come towards the front here and I'm going to go down make a line going down and then I'm also going to pull a little line over like it's a shoulder there so that little line little shoulder there same thing i'm not going to worry about her hair just yet we're going to come in and do their hair after we get all of them placed in um, because we are going to have different things different hairstyles different head wraps because we're making this international baby um so i'm going to go in and i'm going to do about three more so the next one i want to do is right over here she's going to have a full face again just an oval and these do not have to be perfect. Shape them how you want. This is definitely going to be more of an abstract painting. So I'm going to give her both of her ears since she is facing us straight forward. And then I am going to curve 
down and over. So her neck to her shoulder. Same thing here. Neck going down, shoulder going over. Now, because I am going to do two more women up top, I do want to go ahead and get their hair in. So for my girl over here, I want to give her more of wavy hair because I want her hair to feel in this area here. So I am going to start from the middle and kind of do a wavy line going that way. And then a wavy line going there. So all of this that's touching her shoulder is going to end up being her hair going down her back. Now for... Um, my girl here and keep in mind you can do the hairstyles you want it's completely up to you I am going to do more of like a fro for her so I do want to just leave this area here and I'm going to pull that right around so I just have a fro there now, for my girl here, I'm actually going to give her um, a hijab. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If not, please let me know. Um, but all I'm going to do, since I already have the shape of her head here, I am just going to simply pull a line across the top here. I'm going to pull more over her head. I'm going to pull underneath her ears and then I am going to pull a line like this and if you want to take it all the way down like the hijab is all the way down you definitely can but I'm going to leave mine like that for now and then I'm going to draw two more ladies in so I'm going to move up here and I am going to do another oval. And this time she's to the side. So I'm only doing one ear over here. And I'm going to do one more lady over here. She is also going to be to the side. So I'm only doing one ear there. And for her, since she runs right into her hair here, I'm going to do a little line. And then a shoulder. Same thing over here. I'm going to pull a line down. Pull the neckline down there. And I'm going to actually just curve that shoulder right off. Now I am going to give them two more hairstyles. So for this one here, I'm going to do one more wavy look. And then for this one here, I just want to do straight hair. And now I have five different women and I'm going to go in and start to paint. So before I actually start to, um, paint in their skin tones i want to go ahead and start with the background so i am using my bigger flat brush you can use any big brush that you have and i want my background to be more of like a lighter purple like a lilac color so i am going to mix up some red some purple I mean some blue <laughs> to make the purple um some red some blue and i'm also going to go ahead and get a little bit of white in there because remember i want this to be lighter i'm gonna add a little more red and you want to make sure you mix this really really well on your plate first and then i am pretty much going to be filling this in all around the top so the bottom area is going to be all of their skin tone so i'm doing my purple all at the top here so i'm just getting this top part completely filled in
All right. So once you have all of um, your background filled in, now what I'm going to do, I am going to switch to more of a round brush and I'm going to start to fill in their skin tone and I am going to work my way through some different shades. So I'm going to be making all of these women um, different shades and you can choose which shade you want on each woman. It's completely up to you, but I'm going to show you how to mix some different ones. So the first one I'm going to start with, I am going to take a little bit of my white. I'm going to take some red, some yellow, and a very small amount of brown, and I'm going to mix those up. So it's going to give me like a really lighter, almost kind of peach shade. And that is exactly what I want. And I am going to use that right over here on this girl. So I am just getting her entire face, ear, and shoulder filled in. I have my first skin tone filled in you can wash your brush I'm not going to because I'm going to be mixing up a lot of different colors the next color I'm going to go into is just simply brown and white by itself and I am using more white than brown because I want to create almost like a tan color so just brown and white by itself and I'm gonna fill in my girl here. All right, so now that I have that one filled in, I'm gonna keep working through all of my girls. So now I am going to mix up some yellow, some brown, and just a little bit of white. I wanna get more like a caramel complexion this time. So again, I'm doing brown yellow adding some white and I'm filling in my girl here now the color that I just mixed up, the more of like a caramel shade, I'm gonna keep using that. So I'm gonna make a little bit more, but this time I'm gonna add more brown to it. I'm gonna add just a little more brown to it. And I'm gonna fill in my girl here. And again, keep in mind, you can fill these in how you want, it's completely up to you. Now, um, if you are going to be filling the color of her hijab all the way down to the bottom, then you don't have to worry about this bottom piece down here. But I am actually going to fill in it another color as if it's like a shirt or a dress that she has on. And I'm gonna go for um, just a little bit of a different kind of brown um, because I do want to kind of keep all of these skin tones on there. The only like real pop of color that I want is um, the background. 
So I'm just gonna go, I'm not washing my brush, I'm just gonna go into that burnt sienna that I have right on my plate. And I'm gonna get this filled in. Because I don't wanna just make it seem like she has on a, a hijab and then her um, skin is showing um, at the bottom. So you can either take the hijab all the way down or you can fill it in with um, a different color so that it's like the color of her shirt or dress. All right, now for my last girl, I, you can use the brown again as is or you can make it a little bit darker. I'm going to make it a bit darker so I'm mixing up black and some brown and you do want to make sure that you mix that in well. Um, you want to make sure also that you don't use too much black because it does turn dark quickly so you don't need a whole lot of it. All right, so once you have all of their skin tones filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill in their hair. So I'm gonna keep using this same brush, but you wanna make sure to wash it out. And I'm gonna fill their hair in one by one because I wanna make sure you can see the difference between all of their hair. So I am gonna make one of my girls more of a ginger. So I am mixing up some of my red and brown right on my plate. You want to make sure that you mix it in really well, red and brown, to give her her ginger color. And I'm going to do that right up here. And as you're doing this, if you overlap the background or some of the other hair a little bit, it's okay because we're going to be able to fix that. So now, I'm going to kind of pull this down on the face a bit and I'm going to come over, pull it down in front of the ear and fill in everything behind the ear. All right, so I have my ginger. Um, now that I have that, I am going to wash this out and I'm going to move into my black hair. Um, so I am going to be doing, actually the rest of their hair is going to be black, but I'm going to fill it in one by one because we have to make sure that we can see the difference between all of their hair. So for here, I'm starting at the top. I'm going to curve over behind the ear and remember I'm keeping this hair pretty much straight you see how I kind of curved at the top there almost like I made a little M and then curved over to fill in this side Now, what I'm going to do to make sure I can see the difference, I'm going to add a little bit of white to my brush, and I'm going to just come in and make some straight lines, almost like little highlights in the hair. All right. Now, my next girl, I'm going to go down here, get her hair filled in. I'm still using black. I'm going to pull some over her face a bit.
And now, same thing that I did up here, I'm gonna take a little bit of white, or you can use a different color, like brown, red, yellow, and I'm just gonna kinda make some wavy lines in her hair. So I'm not gonna keep it straight, I'm gonna make wavy lines because the outline of her hair is wavy. So we got her. Now, I'm gonna go over here and fill in, actually no, I'm gonna fill in my middle girl first because the hijab kind of overlaps um, the more of an afro, so I'm gonna feel the afro in first. Remember, you want the right behind. for my curls if you like it how it is because you can pretty much see the outline of her you can leave it as is i am going to go in with a little bit of white and i'm going to make kind of like some little Susie cues some little curl curl cues um just kind of moving my brush around in a bit of a circle to create the look of curls Again, remember you can do this in a different color if you don't want to do the white you can do brown yellow red it's up to you one thing I'm also gonna do is kind of around the ends I'm gonna go around the outside of her hair and create some little curls too so you can see how the curls are kind of popping out all right so now that I have that filled in I'm gonna go ahead and start um, the hijab and for that, I'm going to go right across the top of the head first. And then I'm going to go underneath. And I'm going to get the underneath part filled in first. between these so I'm gonna take a little bit of white and kind of create like some little lines like fabric so that you can see the fabric of her beautiful job um, and then I am going to go and fill in the upper part and I don't want to just leave her ears out like that so I'm gonna make sure to take some around her ears and kind of just connect that to the bottom. Same thing here. Take it around her ears. And now I'm going to take a little more white and create some lines around the top. All right, so once you have all of your skin tones filled in, your background, your hair, before we can add any more details, we do have to let these dry. As always, we're just gonna take about a 10 to 15 minute break. If you don't wanna take a break, make sure you grab a blow dryer and blow dry it on the cool setting. But if you are taking a break, make sure you grab yourself something to drink. It's a little early, so I'm just having some water from the coldest, of course. Um, but for my women, for my ladies, 
it's our day it's our month grab yourself a beverage a cocktail if you can <laughs> but uh, again just let your panty dry and then we'll start back on the next step in a few three days later all right so now that our painting is dry we're gonna go in and add a few more details before you are completely finished so i am going to switch to more of a smaller round brush because i am going to give each one of them some lips so i'm going to start out um with my girl here and i want to give her a bit of like a lighter pink lip so i'm going to mix up some red and a little bit of white if you want it to be lighter add more white if you want it to be darker um, add more red and also keep in mind you can add whatever color lips you want on each of your girls it's completely up to you now where you want to place each of the lips the lips are normally kind of across from the bottom of the ear so i'm going to always use that as a point and i'm going to put just a little bit of a dot right there. From that dot, I'm gonna make a V. And then I'm gonna do two lines out in the angle. And I'm going to close it up with the curve. And if you want yours more curved at the top, you can always go back in and curve it more instead of leaving it like a sharp V. It's completely up to you. All right, so I got my first lips filled in. I'm going to go in and just line this up a little bit more. All right, so I am going to move into my next girl right across. After I finish that little detail. <laughs> but I'm going to move into my next girl right across. I'm going to also give her... A bit more of a red lip um, so I'm gonna still keep using that pink but I'm gonna add some more red into it I want to make it a bit darker and same thing come across from the bottom of the ear make a bit of a dot and I'm gonna turn that into a V pull those lines out in the angle and if you want to curve it off at the top a bit more again remember you can and then just close it up with a curve So now I'm going to move down and I am going to go into some brown. So I'm actually going to go into a little bit of that darker brown. If you don't have any left, take some of your burnt sienna, your regular brown, and add a little, just a little bit of black to it. I don't want it to be super dark. I'm actually going to come over here and again, I'm going to make that little dot, make my V. Two lines on an angle and then curve and I'm gonna fill it in you can always go back in and reshape the lips how you want you just want to make sure that you get the basic shape of them down first into that brown mixture that I'm already working with. So I'm gonna add a bit of white. Same thing, the bottom of her ear is there, so I'm gonna make a little dot, make that V. And then close it up.
last girl here. For her, I'm actually going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm not going to wash my brush out. What I'm going to do is take some red, a little bit of blue, and I'm still going to take a little bit of brown and add it into the mixture. Because I want to make almost like a deeper, darker purple. But I'm adding some brown into it. Just a little bit of brown though. Just a little bit. So brown, a little bit of brown, blue, and red. And same thing, make your little dot. Make your V. shape a little more better Right, so I have all of their lips on, and now what I want to do is I want to go through and outline some things to bring um, to bring it out a little more and clean it up. Now you already have um, most of it outlined with black because of their hair, but I am going to outline their facial features as well. The only thing I'm not going to outline, I'm not going to outline the lips. If you would like to outline the lips, you can. And what I'm doing now, I'm taking a little bit of water and adding it to some of my black because I want to thin it down so that I can get some really nice lines. Don't thin it down too much. You want to make sure that you mix it in very well. And then I'm going back into my smaller brush. And I'm going to start over here. Now, over here, I'm just going to pull a line for like the bottom of her chin. And then I'm also going to outline her shoulder. If you want to outline the out uh, the outside of her hair, you definitely can, but you don't have to. I'm just pretty much outlining her skin tone. outline the outside of her hair you definitely can if you want to outline, outline her lips that's up to you as well but I'm gonna leave it as is I'm gonna move down and I'm just going to pretty much clean up her outline since her hijab is already black it's pretty much her skin tone is already outlined I'm just cleaning it up and if your hijab was a different color you definitely want to make sure you outline the entire face to outline the bottom again too just cleaning that up now I'm gonna move back to the top and she's again up here she's pretty much already outlined in black I am going to start back at the ear and outline the bottom of her face just cleaning up her outline and outlining the bottom of her face bringing that chin out. 
same thing here. I'm gonna go through and kind of fix up the outline on her hair. And I'm going to bring back, remember that little line we had, so where it dips over here, I'm gonna pull that line back in. So you can see that that is her shoulder. I'm going to outline the bottom of her chin so you can see the difference between her head and her neck. And she is good. And now I'm gonna go over here and do some work. So I'm just kind of outlining her ear there. I am gonna also come from the side and pull in a line for um, the bottom of her um, chin as well. And then I'm gonna outline the front of her neck, the front of her body. I'm gonna also go ahead and outline the back here. And I'm gonna pull her shoulder line back out. So remember, when I'm coming down here, I'm gonna stop at the beginning of the shoulder and pull that curved line back on the inside. Now, as far as her hair, I do wanna give her more of an actual hairline. So I'm gonna go back in starting from, um, starting from the ear here, so like her little sideburn, and I'm going to kind of create more of a wave and fill that all in. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of giving her more of a wave all the way around. And if you want to um, kind of go in and add like, again, like the little white curls, you definitely can. So for example, I'm just adding a little bit of white to my brush. I'm gonna actually pick up a little more black too. And I'm making those swirls. I'm gonna also kind of follow her little waves, her little curls around her face. right and once you have all of them filled in the way that you want if there is any extra details you want to go in and add you definitely can if not the last thing you want to make sure to do is to simply sign your name and i am just signing my initials right in the corner Thank you so, so much for painting with me today. I hope that you have enjoyed your International Women's Day and that you enjoy creating this painting that you can hang in your home, your office, or just wherever you want to see some very beautiful international women at all times. Um, so as always, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and leave any suggestions down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.